One of the best things about Microsoft OneNote is that it includes a space to collaborate between students. So first we're going to open a Microsoft OneNote notebook and on the left hand side here you'll see a tab that says collaboration space. Remember that when you create your Microsoft OneNote notebook, each of these tabs are automatically built in with a set of instructions on how to best use that section. The collaboration section allows for all class members to read or write anything in this part of the notebook. So this is a great place to put some materials where students can work together. The way I would recommend that is to add a page and then create a section with two or more students' names. Maybe this is a group title. So this will be for James and Liza. And you can see now that I've added their names, they show up on the left-hand side to easily tell students where they should be working. Then I'm free to put anything I want in that collaboration space to allow students to work with it. So I'm gonna create a page here, we'll call it collaboration as a test, and I'm gonna insert a file. I wanna insert this as a printout, so there's a readable version of this printout right in my Microsoft OneNote. So this is an essay. Maybe I want students to highlight a section or do a close read. But remember, since I've put this in the collaboration space, all students have access to this one page. That's why it might be beneficial to organize pages with student group names. The other share option is up here in the top right hand corner. I can click here to share the entire notebook or share a link to some of my colleagues. And I have an option to manage my sharing status. So I can always add or remove somebody in this section. Remember, if you've created a teacher binder and you wanna share it with your team, everybody will have access to the same notebook. 